Alright, what we're going to be showing today is how to change this logo right here. That's called the carrier logo. And you're going to be using uh, iPhoneInterface.exe, which if you've read the other tutorial or watched the video for custom ringtones, you should have that already. You're going to need to launch that up. But first, you're going to need to have two picture files in the same directory. And they need to be .png extensions. And the title is all capital for one FSO underscore carrier underscore ATT dot PNG. And then the next is capital D default underscore all caps carrier ATT dot PNG. And normally, if uh, you don't have the file saved as a PNG, you can um, hide uh, uncheck hide extensions for known file types and then just change it and I'm saying would you like to change the file type and you just hit yes and then you can do the same for the other And these are two just dummy files right now, but so I'm not going to copy them over to here because I already have two in there. But normally I would just copy them, just drag them in, and it would ask you to replace. And in this case, I'm just like no, because I want to keep these two in here. And now you're going to open the iPhone interface, and you're going to have to type the command cd for change directory space slash system slash library slash core services slash springboard dot app slash and the first letter in each word is capitalized and in core services core and services capitalized and spring the s in spring and the b in board is capitalized so I'm just going to go ahead and type that right now and then I'm just going to hit enter or return and it'll open up that directory and now we're gonna use the command put file we're just gonna add those two pictures onto the iPhone so I'm just gonna enter the command put file space slash system slash library slash core services slash springboard dot app slash and then the two um, names of the files you're adding so it would be the default and FSO. So I'm going to write that right now. Alright, for this first one, just the word, that'll be the correct capitalization. D is the only capital letter in default, and then the rest is capitalized. And we're going to hit enter, and it should say file ref colon one. Alright, and it kicks us back out to the directory we were just in, giving us the option to add another picture, which we're going to do. And it's going to be the FSO. Right, I'm going to type that in now. Okay, we're going to press enter. And it, it could give us the option to add another one, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to power off our iPhones. You're not going to see a logo change for mine because I use the same pictures, but if you did it yourself, you would. Alright, we're just going to power off. And as it's powering off, you should hear the sound that disconnected from your computer. And it also say disconnected in the command prompt window. And then you can just go ahead and turn it back on. You can have two different pictures. They don't need to be the same, and uh, you'll notice this one will say Verizon, and then the next one, which, this is the default, it says Verizon, main page, and any application that you use, it'll give you your other logo, which I chose T-Mobile, 
Um, it really doesn't matter, just as long as it meets, meets the um, correct 65 by 20 size and it's a PNG file.